Good morning, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News. Today is July 9th, 2014, and this is your Climate Viewer 3D daily report. Let's talk a little bit about space junk and satellites. I'm over here under the satellite category. I have chosen the satellite tracker. If you zoom out, you really don't get a good view of it. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and bring this up to full screen. I just did that by clicking up here in the very top left. And I'm gonna zoom in just a hair. Now watch what happens. These are satellites. What you're gonna see is a ring start to form. There it is. Do you see that ring? It goes clear around the planet. That's our geostationary orbit um, satellites. There's a big ring out there. It's kind of like a big Death Star. <laughs> so um, that's a lot of satellites. Most people are, you know, it boggled my mind when I first saw it. So I figured I'd share that with you. Check that out. So that looks like a lot of satellites, but wait for it. It gets crazier. Watch this. Now we get a little closer, and suddenly, the inner ring appears. Oh my. Now I saw this uh, Disney flick called WALL-E, and literally, like, they're launching off the planet, and they bust through, you know, all of the satellites, because they're, like, shoulder to shoulder, and, I mean, that just blew my mind. I, I never knew there was that many. Now, all of these aren't satellites. Some of this is space junk. Some of this is rocks. I mean, I, I'm... Not exactly sure you'd have to go through and click them all, but breeze. We got lucky, we got a satellite. Um, but these are from AGI, and this is fascinating stuff. So if you're into satellites at all, I suggest you take check it out. It's in real time as well. We had more storm damage across the northeast. As you can see, this uh, large system is moving through, and uh, all of the W's are wind damage. The green H's are hail, and the red T's are tornadoes. Now we had several tornadoes uh, pop up over here. Let me. Well, before I do that, I want to um, want to come over here and show you guys this. So I also have the NASA firm's uh, fire 48 hour total turned on right now, and you can see uh, there's fires in the U.S. Check this out. That's a lot of fires there. And then if you come over here to China, right now um, Japan has a pretty large tropical storm. It may be a hurricane by now. Um, on its way inland. And then you have all of these fires burning across um, China. And those will all no doubt get sucked up into that. These are cloud condensation nuclei. These are particulates that will add to the clouds. Probably give it some more oomph before it gets there. Not good for them. So that's, uh, I'm on the uh, Modus Terra corrected reflectance, true color. And I've got it set to yesterday at 6 a.m. Um, usually what happens is you've got to wait a day because if you come up to today at right now you'll see that the satellite is still building the image for today it hasn't made its rounds come oh wow Africa you are on fire today my goodness if I can slow my PC down like that then <laughs> that's a lot of fire let's investigate Wow all right, give me one second. Yeah, that is a lot of fire. So, um, Africa has a lot of fire today. I don't know what to say about that. Well, there you go. Whew top away from that all right so back over to um the weather let's clear all these out in fact so yeah we're getting hammered across here we had some tornadoes up here we'll just bring that back up by going to daily storm log under weather alerts daily storm log we had a couple tornadoes up in ohio 
around Brunswick and a couple more across Ohio into Pennsylvania. So hopefully we won't get more of that on the way out, but this storm is still moving northeast, batting down the hatches. Uh, that's enough weather for today. I didn't see any uh, substantial uh, earthquakes today, only uh, China got nailed with a couple of fives. And uh, let's go down here. I'm going to pull up the pollution files, and today we're going to bring up fracking. Now, we've talked about this a little bit in the past about the fracking and earthquakes. I'm going to go bring that up to you while we're at it. Uh, here. So if you come in here, where you see these very dense locations, these are very large oil drilling, fracking, um, and injection well areas. And it's pretty sad when you actually go look at it because this gr these green dots, they look like a lot of wells. And you may be a bit overwhelmed by that. Just wait till you realize that this is probably less than I mean, it's at least less than 50%. It's, 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 there's way more, and I'm going to show you right now. Look, all of these are wells. Every single one of these are wells. Do you see any green dots in any of this area? Do you see any green dots in any of these? Look at the little speckles, the pinholes we prick in our beautiful earth. It's disgusting. I wouldn't, I would venture to say that you will never get a drop of water from there that will not have an issue. Um, but this is just, here we're in Odessa, Texas right there. Let's, let's move up out of Texas because everybody knows about Texas. So let's come up here. And let's see what we can find in Colorado. Denver, Colorado, Boulder, Colorado. Now these green circles we all know are pastures and they have a wheel in the center and it turns around and it waters the field. And apparently they have an injection well there, but check this out. What do we see again? Field after field after production field. They're everywhere. Unbelievable absolutely unbelievable so most people are also unaware of this place this is also known as little kuwait or uh, kuwait on the prairie uh, williston uh, unbelievable amount of fracking going on up here too this one is now in a boom they are literally rolling them out down the highway get the pumping baby get the pumping one after another after another after another so that is your fracking file now under so i wanted to just underscore that that what you see here are only just to give you a general idea of where they are these reports were provided by uh frack alert and uh the details are right over here if you on every single one of the layers that you see it'll say source I made the file and it's based on these guys. Well, let's take that down. Let's go show them real quick. Sky Truth releases fracking chemical database. This is where I pulled it from. It was a Google uh, fusion table. So I converted that fusion table to this file. It does not contain all of the wells. As you can clearly see, here we are in Colorado. Same, same. Every one of these is a well for the record and uh, they're absolutely disgusting so for one last thing since we're on the fracking sip subject let me go over here climate viewer and I'm gonna type in fracking and search that and top four reasons fracking is not green energy to Sean Hannity and every other person out there that keeps saying there has never been a case where they've proven that uh, fracking pollutes 
aquifers, I give you these. Uh, Santos coal seam gas project contaminates aquifer. This is in uh, Australia and you can read about how they have proven it is the first confirmation of aquifer contamination associated with coal seam gas activity in Australia. A blow to an industry pu pushing state and federal governments for permission to expand. Same saying. Uh, coal seam gas project operated by the energy company Santos in the northwestern uh, NSW has contaminated a nearby aquifer with uranium at levels 20 times higher than safe drinking water guidelines. An official investigation is found. Here, four states confirm water pollution from drilling. January 5th, 2014. Source, USA Today. Pennsylvania has confirmed at least 106 water well contamination cases. Ohio had 37 complaints in 2010 and no confirmed contamination of water supplies. 54 complaints in 2011, 59 in 2012, 40 in... So, I mean, it just goes on. West Virginia had about 122 complaints that drilling contaminated water wells. And in four cases, the evidence was strong enough that the driller agreed to take corrective action, officials, officials said. And a Texas spreadsheet contains more than 2,000 complaints and 62 of those alleged possible water well contamination from oil and gas activity, said Ramon and I. Yeah. See also, fracking causes significant damage to aquifers, EPA, EPA. Uh, also... Radio um, fracking creates tons of radioactive waste. Fracking is bad for climate change. Methane leaks erode green credentials of natural gas. Up to 19% of the gas coming out of the well can end up in the sky. Um, and then, of course, there's the Kuwait on the prairie, visible at night because they flare uh, those things. They light them on fire and uh, they get really hot. Number four, fracking causes earthquakes. Greeley quake may be related to nearby disposal wells. That's what we were talking about earlier today. That Greeley quake they're talking about over here. They're not liking this stuff. Not liking these earthquakes being associated with these wells. And that's that. So fracking bad. And you can see a whole bunch more uh, stuff. And I suggest you check this song out. So that's enough on fracking. I have gone way longer than I expected to, but it's all for you guys. And uh, I really hope that you'll take an interest in this. Um, our, our water supplies are being decimated by these greedy people. And we really need some accountability. So with that, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. Love you, mean it.